don't think there are any glutens in there unless they used a roux or something. Ask the uh, chefs. All right, what we're talking about now is a great way to breathe new life into that beautiful knife that you bought once upon a time. Probably paid a good amount of money for it, and then it got dull and it just went into a drawer to die, right? Well, no knife should have a lifespan. Every knife should last until, heaven forbid it, break in half, right? So come on, let's get the Cleva set of two countertop knife sharpeners. These are coming along with the suction base. Super popular since we introduced them. Richard Roman is back with us. Good to see you, buddy. David, great to see you. Always Happy good to have you back. Hello. Now, Richard is former restaurant owner, caterer, all around food dude. This is something that you used uh, on some of your old knives and were amazed at the results you got. I am. I said, in all the years in the business, the easiest, most effective way to sharpen your knives, restore that factory razor sharp edge, but it's also super compact, okay? And the other thing about the Cleva is it's incredibly sharp, and that's because on the bottom we have patented suction cup technology that's going to secure it to the countertop. So watch what happens when I put this on a smooth countertop, okay? There's a little clasp on top of it here. When you engage this clasp, that's now secure to the table. So what does this mean, David? Now, instead of using a sharpener that requires two hands where you put your hand at harm's way, right. you don't have to do that. This is one-handed sharpening, and then you can see these tungsten carbide grooves, they are at that perfect 20-degree angle, and you just mentioned knives from my restaurant. This is a 20-year-old knife, okay? A knife that I was in my catering and restaurant business with a few passes of the Cleva. I've now restored that factory edge, and I go to take that to the kitchen. Take a look at this. A 20-year-old knife, David? Let's see if it cuts like a 20-year-old knife. Look at this perfect slices of that tomato. Look how perfect the cuts are. Doesn't tear that tomato, and look at how thin and razor thin this piece of tomato is. That's because now the knife and the edge are back to its original factory sharp way. You know what? And this is going to work on any knife in your kitchen, whether it's a straight edge or a serrated right. knife. Also will work on your food processing blades, which is I think is going to be really important for a lot of you who have older food processors. And even meat cleavers and coated knives, they all work with it. That's right. Hunting knives, you name it. And you just mentioned a serrated knife. So many people have a sharpener or can't do the serrated edge. Again, with Cleva, we've done all the hard work. All you need to do is pull it in one direction, very important. Pull it toward you. Not, no, do not go both ways. And now you're going to break down the metal. So what, what you see in those tongues and carbide grooves there, you see those little shavings? That's breaking down the metal, restoring the edge. So now you've got that 20 degree angle. So now the edge is just like the day you opened it. And when you go to the kitchen, it's razor sharp, it's safe, and it's effective. Which is great. Yep. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're very, very busy on our phone lines as we have been for the entire first two hours of the show. Two hours yet to come. And it's customer top rated. Two easy payments on your credit card. But you know what? The old way to sharpen knives, you had to use what's called a steel. That's right. Many of you, if you have a knife block at home and a set of knives, you probably have one of these. But I'm guessing most of you have. Have probably never used it, or, or maybe you don't know how to use it properly. That's right. First of all, even with all my experience, you have to get that precise angle, otherwise, you dull the knife. But here, take a look at this. I'm pulling the knife down toward my hand. That makes it a dangerous way to sharpen. And I always think about that story with your mother, how she cut her hand. I've seen many chefs in my kitchen cut their hands. Well, I'm going to show you something. We're going to actually intentionally dull this knife. I'm going to run it across the steel. And this is what happens with so many people when they use a the steel. They don't get that angle. And what you wind up doing, you wind up actually taking the edge of the knife off. So I'm going to take this knife. We've rendered it useless. I'm going to go to a sponge and see if we can cut a sponge. Okay. Watch what happens when I try to cut this, David. I'm going to actually try to get through the sponge. I cannot get through the sponge. You can see I'm actually applying pressure, moving the sponge. That is what makes your knife dangerous. So we're going to take this knife. Now we'll go to the Cleva. And again, depending on how dull or how old your knives are, you might have to pull it four, maybe five, maybe six times. There's no set number of times. You'll start to feel it break down that edge, really start to restore that wonderful razor sharp edge that you remember. Now take a look at this. I'm going to go back to that sponge, okay, that I just couldn't cut a moment ago. Take a look. I'm going to go through this. Look at this, David, right through the sponge. And again, I always say you're not cutting sponges in the kitchen. You're cutting things like tomatoes. Okay, this is a knife that we just couldn't even cut a sponge with. Look at these perfect, razor sharp, perfect slices of that tomato. That knife is now as sharp as it was when we took it out of the box. And we it's intentionally great. dulled it. Exactly. So, great opportunity for you to enjoy this and know you've got everything working for you in this fantastic set of two. Two easy payments of $12.38. We've now taken orders for. 1,500 of these wow. are now gone. Uh, big Santoku knife, meat cleaver, coated knives, uh, hunting knives. I mean, this is going to work on all of them. All of them. And I always say, take any knife in your drawer if you want it to cut like the day you bought it. This, and again, it doesn't have to be an expensive knife, but they, it could be a very expensive knife. All knives will need to be sharpened. This is a beautiful Santoku knife, like you said. Four or five passes. 
Now I've made that edge razor sharp. You can even see the edge come back to it. Take this to the kitchen and the way a, a sharp knife works, David, is the knife does the work. You simply rock it through gentle, no pressure. That's why it's safe so you're not forcing and pushing the knife. And every time now, that knife is going to be like you remember it the day you open the box. That's Look at crazy. That. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Now, I'll also tell you, once these things are on the table, yep. hold on to your fruits yep. and vegetables. You got it. Nothing is moving. The table rocks when I grab hold of this, but nothing is, uh, these are not coming off until I remove them from the table and then pop them back down with that sharp knife out of the yep. way. <laughs> and clip it in place. Now it's there. It's ready for use. 2,200 of these are now gone. You're getting one blue, one red. They make great stocking stuffers. No, it may sound a little weird to put these in a Christmas stocking, but you know what? If you're buying this for a foodie, they're going to love this gift. They are. In fact, I was just talking to my sister. I brought, brought one to her house, and she was like, what is that sharpener you brought? And again, it's because it is so easy to use. Look at this one-handed operation. I took a big heavy meat cleaver here because you said before, this is a heavy weight metal knife. And you can even see it's breaking down all those shavings, pulling those shavings off the knife. That's because the tungsten carbide grooves right here, they're harder than the steel on your blade. So now it's recreating that 20 degree angle. So now this heavy cleaver has reestablished that sharp edge. And again, I love reading how people say it's so easy to use, David. Any type of knife. How about a non-stick knife, okay? Sure. It doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about it. Pull it through. One important thing to remember, Dave, always only go in one direction. Because I know sometimes some people go both ways. That is not good. You have to go one direction, pull it toward you. And now this non-stick knife, this coated knife, take this to the kitchen. And again, cutting such ripe tomatoes, or if you're chopping, you're slicing, you want your knife to be sharp. Look at these slices. They look as if the knife just came out of the box, and that's the way every knife in your drawer can be. Look at that, Dave. Perfect slices. 3,500 of these are now gone. Everybody taking advantage of this fantastic price. And also, don't forget Easy Pay. Two Easy Payments on your credit card of $12.38. This breaks down to $12 and change per gift. I mean, it's, it's listen, this is, you said it's a stocking stuffer. Put one in the drawer, put one in the tackle box. I'm going to, again, I want to show you how effective. We're going to take a knife, run it the wrong way on a steel. This is the typical steel that people struggle with. I'm pulling it against the steel. I've rendered this now dull and useless, David, right? Okay. We can't even cut something like a sponge. Go back to a sponge. Try to cut this. See what happens. I'm going to actually use pressure. See the sponge moving? That's actually dangerous because that's how you slip and cut yourself. So this knife is useless. But now pull it out of your drawer. Go to your cleva. Start to pull it through those tungsten carbide grooves and you can feel the metal breaking down. I can feel that edge coming back on the knife. And again, four, six, eight passes all depends how dull or how sharp the knives were when you started. Now I go back to that sponge. Okay, David, that I couldn't get through before? Take a look at this. It goes right through it, okay? Simple as can be. And again. Now, Richard, we're, we're getting some questions yep. about scissors. Are these designed for scissors? No, they're not because scissors only have one side that's sharp, so it's one, the angle will not work for scissors. So okay, we, so okay? good to know. Yep. I mean, it's as important to know what it will work on as what it won't. And so silver is yeah, silver. Scissors. <laughs> scissors. <laughs> scissors would be what you, don't, what, what sure. you want to avoid. Yep. Now, as we wrap up on this, I'll tell you we've taken orders for. 5,000 of wow. these are gone now, oh, and wow. um, I have trivia for you. Trivia, okay. All right. We're making my cherry cobbler bars today. Okay. And they're actually cherry almond Ooh. Uh, cobbler bars. Did you say they were? Uh, of course. <laughs> what? Everyone eats. All right, now, here's your question has to do with almonds. Okay. Ready?